and gals. Well, we're going to do some more shout outs. Uh, the first shout out I want to give to is Boxing Boa. Uh, really nice guy. Uh, he loves his snakes. He has uh, a lot of different uh, pythons, boas, a lot of carpet pythons, but also he's into his inverts. Uh, so he has quite a few tarantulas. Let's just go check out his videos. There he has a rehousing of uh, some type of pokey. I haven't watched that one yet. And he's got uh, the second video there is his gravid female carpet python. He talks about that. He also takes his snakes outside and uh, gives you a whole lot of info about them and where he got them from and whatnot. There's one of his tampos that uh, just molted not long ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, happy day. That was... Uh, one of his tarantulas that hadn't molted in so 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 long and he thought it wasn't doing well but it finally molted so anyways guys he's got a lot of stuff on here as you can see um i want to do some shout outs with people that do reptiles and arachnids because you know they kind of go hand in hand he also did some shout outs there takes his snakes outside quite a bit get to see them in the natural sunlight but uh, very, very highly recommended, guys. Uh, he's a super, super nice guy. You know, a lot of you guys probably already know who he is because, uh, especially if you have tarantulas, because uh, I watch more tarantula videos right now, but uh, he's all over uh, commenting on our stuff. So give him some love, Mr. Box and Boa there, and uh, check out his channel, and uh, please subscribe. Thanks, guys. On to the next. Okay, second shout out is going to my buddy, Little Lad Conley. Uh, he's in the UK, uh, super, super nice guy. He's been subscribed to my channel for a very long time. And uh, honestly, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't very long ago that I just discovered that he had his own channel. So obviously I subscribed and he's got some very, very cool um, animals, inverts. He has some snakes, all sorts of different stuff. So anyways, let's go have a look and see some of his videos. He just did some shout outs. He just got some very cool velvet worms. Rescued a bird. That was really cool. He kind of did a time lapse video of feeding it. It uh, was quite well, good, but it was kind of funny how fast he was going because it was time lapse. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back here. And this is where he got his new stuff in, meaning the uh, where we go here. That was his uh, velvet worms. Oh, he's got into ants. He's got the unboxing videos. He even takes his little guy with him here and there on little errands, getting moths and whatnot for his enclosures. But guys, he's got a lot of stuff here. He's got cats, six-eyed sand spiders, uh, all sorts of stuff. He's got snakes, assassin bugs. Uh, I can go on here forever. But uh, super, super nice guy. Um, you guys probably all know him if you have a channel because he, he's like Boxing Boa. He's commenting on everybody's stuff. Uh, sorry if you're hearing scrabbling. My lizards are going crazy. But yeah, tarantula feeding videos, scorpions. He's got some dogs. All sorts of stuff. So guys, do me a favor. Go check out my buddy, Little Lad Conley. Let's see who else we got, guys. Third shout out is going to Mark's Tarantulas. This is another fella in the UK. Uh, I don't think he's been doing this too, too long, but uh, he has a great channel. Uh, he has great video quality. Um, I just want to go to the videos right away. The first video there, it's uh, he's talking about his Gigas and featuring his new assistant. I watched this. I thought it was his twin brother. Because if you look at the guy on the left, it looks smaller than the guy on the right. But anyways, it was brilliant editing. It was him and both. you got to check that out. Uh, got a lot of other great videos as well. Uh, enclosure setups that was a really cool time-lapse uh, video brilliant setup uh, you got all sorts of tarantulas guys he's got a really cool intro I like it he actually gets down uh, his H gigas uh, hide or burrow per se with the endoscope I believe it's called and you get to see his tarantula what it's doing down there kind of cool Nasidora Parabana all sorts of stuff guys keep going for days Feeds tarantulas, lots of updates. So, another one to check out, guys. Mark's tarantulas. Super nice guy. Great videos, and uh, you won't you won't regret something to him. Let's see who else we got, guys.
And last, but certainly not least, is Edward Tyndall. Uh, this guy's been subscribed to me for probably about a couple months. Uh, we've been chatting back and forth. Um, so obviously, I found that he had a channel. I subscribed to him. Let's go check out his videos. Uh, he has a lot of different stuff. Guys, he's got reptiles. He's got uh, amphibians. He's got... Uh, he's got, I can't even explain how much stuff this guy has. But uh, he's also into arachnids. As you can see here, he just started up an ant colony, baby birds, all sorts of stuff. Uh, he does a lot of live feedings, guys, so, uh, you know, I'm okay with it because that's how I used to do it in the old days. And there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, just beware, uh, he does do some live feedings. Um, some people aren't okay with that, so I'm just sort of kind of giving you the head up. But uh, a great channel, you know, there's his ants again. Uh, he has a very large retic scar. He's got a huge male retic, probably about 16 feet. And one of the videos, uh, one of the first videos I seen was uh, when he was feeding it. There was a mishap and his, his retic actually grabbed his arm. And it was a little scary, but he stayed really calm, which is very important if a large snake grabs you. I've had it happen to me before years ago. But... Uh, there you go there he's got a giant python versus giant rooster but all in all you know what guys he's he's a great guy uh he loves all his animals and uh i highly recommend you guys go check out him and uh you just see the diversity of animals he has he has rattlesnakes pythons boas all sorts of stuff you know everything and anything pretty much so he's another one i highly recommend and uh check him out and show him some love all right guys that's it for the shout outs and I gotta do something now I'm thinking I'm going to uh, rehouse my huntsman spider because I've been putting that off forever I've got its enclosure set up so I'm just gonna go now do that and possibly feed a couple tarantulas that have molted that are due, due for a feed but anyways guys I will leave links to all these guys channels in my description and uh, please guys go check them out and uh, show them some love all right, guys and gals well here we go the dreaded huntsman spider i've been putting this off for so long uh, but i have this enclosure set up he or she is in this little green thing here filthy enclosure i've been meaning to do this for quite some time and this thing is so fast uh i don't even want to pick stuff out of there because the enclosure is a little small but anyways i'm going to put you guys on the tripod because i need two hands for this and uh Oh, I see my H focal piece was out. I guess he's gone back in. He was just giving me a total threat posture. There he is up top there. Let's see if I can uh, open this. Oh, there, <laughs> there he is. Oh man, he's like, what's going on? There he is over there. I know it's very, very hard to see him. But there he is. I don't know, I've never seen him do this before. I just got the enclosure off the shelf. He's got some poop up there too. That's a total threat posture. Wow. Anyways, guys, back to the video. I'm going to give this a whirl. I'm going to pause it and put you on the uh, tripod. Guys, here we go. Uh, I do have a catch cup on each side of my table here. Um, I'm hoping keep him on this piece of wood over here on the left if he can stay on there then perfect that way I can uh, just move him over and hopefully scurry him very on the move yikes oh, he's out okay man that thing's lightning fast I'm gonna move you guys can see him on the side of the enclosure he went in down and up just like a dot so, man, that thing is fast. Okay. I would like to try and scurry him over and then pop a lid on. But my luck, it ain't going to happen. So, the thing is I got the lid in one hand, the brush in the other. And if he goes anywhere else, then I don't have a cup in my hand. Jesus, okay, good. Get in there. Sorry, guys, I can't really give you a shot of him. 
Oh man, look, he's already on top and over. Lordy, lordy. Oh my nerves. And this, look over here, guys. This is why I was dreading doing this thing. This thing is crazy fast. Man. Uh, I, I guess it didn't go wrong. Just get up there, buddy. That way I can. Everything's work. Come on, move it. That was crazy fast. I hope you guys seen it because he went in here, down around the wood, up here. I don't even know where he went, but he ended up out over here. Crazy, crazy fast. I'd like it to move because I don't want to pinch its legs because the enclosure is not uh, the enclosure is not fully. What's the word I'm looking for? Fully closed. Guys, your your blood gets caught. I mean, this thing's not going to do much damage if it bites you. You know. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess if you could be a little allergic or have some type of allergic reaction to it, but I I don't want to get bit by anything to be honest with you. I haven't been bitten yet by any of my arachnids or inverts, and I'd like to keep it that way. So, anyways, he is sitting there, calm as can be, which is crazy. But I would like to close this. Oh, I need my poker. Where's my poker? I'm that tree at. Nope. I do have a smaller brush, though. Sorry guys, I know you can't see much, but I'd like to get this lid on before I take the camera off. Because his one leg looks like it's right under there. I can't reach him. Anyways guys, I'm going to pause you. I'll get the lid on and then we'll come back. Alright guys and girls, or gals, he slash she is in safely. Took me a little bit of time to get it off I mean it just went from one end to the other uh, always up top around the rim and I couldn't get the lid down but finally it bolted ended up under that leaf uh, on the other side of the enclosure I had to turn it around but uh, here she's in there safely my heart rate's coming down which is kind of nice and uh, he or she is going to enjoy this much more it's much larger uh, you know I mean it's big but this thing it, I mean, it was fine in the other enclosure, but it was too small, like for cleaning and, and anything else. Uh, you guys seen how fast that thing is? Uh, I think I'm going to call this thing Flash, because it's uh, Flash Lightning or Flash Gordon, or whatever the guy's name is. But uh, anyways, guys, I've been putting it off for a very, very long time, and uh, we did it. And uh, it didn't go so bad, but I don't think it went so well either. I'm okay. The spider's okay. Uh, like I said, my heart rate was going, and I kind of watch the video back and I got the footage which is great but I sound like a little girl but that's okay that's what happens when you get a little creeped out by these things it's just the speed I mean the speed is just so creepy fast and you don't know where they're gonna end up and if they end up on you they're gonna end up all over you in no time but anyways guys I'm rambling let's go see what else we have guys okay this is my beautiful Rocky Palma Albiceps Mexican Golden Red Rump uh, he or she just molted probably about five days ago. As you guys can see, it's got that beautiful tan carapace and the red butts coming out nicely and the black legs. I'm going to try him or her on a cricket, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh. May not be ready yet. Why does it look like my camera's not focusing? It's in the water. Oh, there. Numbity nums. Yeah, I gave it a cricket because, uh, I mean, its fangs are fine. Sometimes with these little, little, little slings or little juvies, I'll give them a cricket because it's much softer after they first molt. Or their first meal, anyways. And he or she's doing absolutely nothing with it. This thing was a really great feeder. Uh, had a really good disposition not that I handle it before it molted but I've said this many a times before tarantulas change their personalities moods from molt to molt anyways guys let's see what else we have and that is my beautiful Thomas Pulcher Panama Blonde number one uh, 
molted. I believe it was just as I was doing my tour video last week or so. So it's going to be ready for a feed. It did scamper a bit, so hopefully I didn't uh, spook it. There he sees it. There we go. Beautiful. Look at the abdomen on that. It's like silk. Just gorgeous. I've had these guys since uh, every second in starter. These little tiny, tiny things. I have obviously two of them. As you can see, her, his or her fangs are nice and dark. Very reclusive when they were younger, and uh, just the past couple of molts are starting to stay out, which is very nice. Anyways, guys, we'll leave him or her to that, and we'll move on to the next. All right, and this is Santa Claus Pulcher, Panama Blonde number two. Do the same thing. Oh, crap. Lost the worm. Maybe he's going for it. He's going down. Oh, he's going for that one. That's fine. It'll get the other one too. It just molted. Oh. I just heard that. I think it hooked on its web. You hear the tearing. Stunning tease. Very cool. Right, guys, we'll leave him or her to that. We're not doing a whole lot. And uh, let's see what else we have. It looks like oh, you almost tore that thing in half. That's feet up in the air. The prey item can't touch it. Anyways, guys, we'll move on to the next. Okay guys, this is Pocotherium Metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental, he or she molted probably a week ago just after actually the video I did, I said she was looking pretty plump, he or she, and lo and behold the next day I came in and it was molted, so I hope it doesn't bolt, I'm just going to throw a couple crickets in there and hope for the best. Uh, this thing is very flighty, as most pokies are. This one doesn't do well on videos for me, as far as feeding. But I figured we'll put a couple crickets in there. They move around a lot, and we'll see what happens. But it is just stunning. Bring it a little closer. Sorry, guys. Crazy camera work here. He or she is just stunning. I know what will happen. I will turn this camera off, put it back up on the shelf, and then a minute later it will be eating. That's what it does. Oh, I felt something. I don't know if that was a, a bolt or just a piece of food. cannot sit still like I said it before but uh, <laughs> still you try to stay to when the camera moves I don't even know where those crickets went guys maybe down there somewhere I'm gonna pause you guys for a second okay guys I think he just grabbed one I went to get another cricket and he or she just scrambled and it looks like it's got something in its fangs another cricket's coming around in there buddy I'm pretty sure it's got something guys let's see if I can zoom in on the fangs or see a little something just hanging out with a small cricket anyways guys we'll leave him or her to it yeah you can see the cricket underneath there 
See, see, there it is down there. I don't want the thing to bolt, guys. But anyways, we'll leave him or her to it. And uh, I believe that's it for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the rehousing of my huntsman. Um, that's kind of crazy. And also uh, some nice arboreal. Taking some uh, food down and also my little Brachy Palma Alba set. And guys, do me a favor. Go check out all those guys I give a shout out to. I'm sure they will appreciate it. And you guys will not regret coming to them. Anyways, guys, wherever you're at, have a good day and a good night wherever you're at. Take care. Bye-bye.